Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about a very interesting situation that is happening in our community. It is the fact that we are seeing more and more, mm, I would call them fake magic players. These are people on social media who are promoting the game but have very little understanding of it and little history of the game. Now, I'm not saying that if you're a new player, this is a little different from being a new player. So if you look at any other esports or sports in general, you do have critics and commentary and maybe they haven't played the sport that they're commentary on, but they are at least knowledgeable about it. Here we have a whole batch of E-list celebrities and they're, they're being flown to places they have as jeremy from mtg headquarters will say they have these um, they're given the ability to present to other people mostly about the topic of streaming when they themselves are not like very popular streamers all you need to know is you can go on the magic the gathering youtube page and watch uh, vintage league modern league and things of that nature and check it out because it is fascinating who's on there and who is not. Now, why did why is this happening? Why is there so many fake Magic players uh, who... It's the situation that keeps coming up in my mind is when someone is saying that they go to their FNM and they're being hit on and abused and it's a scary place and rape culture. This is what most people believe about Magic the Gathering local game store. I remember reading an article a long time ago about Brianna Wu, and it talked about how she was saying that 4chan, all these socially awkward people on 4chan were threatening her life and they were calling her. Well, the group that she mentioned, they have high social anxiety, and the last thing they would do is call somebody they barely can like talk to someone they know so to call a random stranger who brianna Wu used to wiki her she's running for government now and she has a very interesting background and i'll just leave it at that and that's kind of what i feel like where when i read a reddit post and it says i went to the local game store i was hit on by multiple males and then you do a tiny bit more digging and it's just like what like what like so obviously i haven't seen this happen um i haven't seen a scenario where i I did see a very awkward frank scenario where uh, i made a video about frank frank is this creeping creeper and i've seen that happen before but normally when a a female is at a gp or she has friends and she has a boyfriend uh, she has other people who, you know, obviously a play group. You're not going to have something where the scenario would present itself or the circumstance will allow a random male, maybe a socially awkward male, to say just all these offensive stuff. And I think it also is, assuming that this does happen, and logically, you know, percentage-wise, it probably does happen to some degree, One of the more interesting scenarios is, yeah, people are salty all the time at Magic the Gathering. That's just how people are. Um, If you imagine people who are worker bees and they work all day for someone else, they get yelled at, they have an angry boss. This is life. This is human life. And then they have some time to relax. Well, I, I mean, there's a man cave hair salon near me like it's called something something i forget what it is called but it just opened up across the street like it's probably five minutes away and it's like a man cave and they cut your hair there's is they have whiskey in the bar and i think these places are really trending uh quite these boys only clubs are trending a ton because i don't want to say like uh what donald's saying because i don't believe in that But I can see a market for it. From a marketing perspective, it does make sense that if you have people willing to um, go to a hair salon even 
and have like a guy guy experience with the TVs, the flat screens. I, I went there for the grand opening. It was pretty fun. Uh, the whiskey on the tap, like beer on the tap. And it's just a fun place to hang out, like a barbershop, right? That's kind of a unique place. And I would, I would be interested. Someone left a comment saying that they would be interested in a man cave game shop. And it would be, hey, let's have some sports on. Let's have some buffalo wings. Let's have some magic and just, you know, play magic. It's an interesting concept. Like, I am quite fascinated by that particular concept because your customer base isn't people on Twitter. Those people on Twitter who are yelping and yapping and yapping and yapping, they're not going to really buy stuff from you. I think those people on Twitter, since they're so used to receiving free airplane rides, free product, free promotion, they're not going to buy stuff from their local game store. I'll take Wedge, for example. Wedge has been on record for many times saying that he does not buy from his local game store. And he's proud of that fact that he buys from Walmart or gets free product. So when you talk about like a man cave for a, a local game center like i i don't know like i would get eaten alive on social media but i think that's what i want to do like there are man caves in houston that are specific to hey come in and you know just uh, hang out like even getting like your hair cut there's a man cave i don't think a single person will go to the place i went to because it is designed and kind of smells like you know your best friend's basement so it's a great design. I love it. Uh, I forget what's name. I really want to promote it now, but I don't know what it was called. I haven't been back for a haircut, obviously, for a while. So there are these trends now, like um, not taking an example, but Hooters isn't really meant to attract female audience members, right? They're meant to attract males. Now, Hooters not doing so well now. Twin Peaks, lots of competition. But the initial concept of it and why it became so popular was you know you could have uh, a meeting and you know i'm not going to go into the nitty gritties but there are specific marketing to just males and i think that's okay i don't think we have um, as a marketing person you have to market to people who are not going to buy your product i know for a fact that i'm probably the product i'm selling it is highly unlikely that uh, I'm going to do well in the female demographics. I know that from my YouTube. I know that from my personal experiences, from playing Magic for since beta. I've known this for a long time. And if you tell any store owner, they know this too. Um, if the store owners, if they had budgets, which most of them don't, they're not going to Facebook target females, just males. So on Facebook, Google, what I do is I target and I find people who like certain cars and I match them with that car or people who like certain soup or um, e-commerce, soap, vitamin C soap, deodorant. Like I sell all this stuff for my clients online. Now the big what if is what if my store does become a man cave and how interesting would that be, right? Like, would that see enough? The great part here is I don't need a bazillion customers. I just need some lawyer customers who are interested in buying reserve list slash popper cards and playing, you know, just super casual. I think that is what I wanted to do. Actually, when I was making this video, the video was titled Fake Magic Players. But as I went along the video, so hopefully you're still with me, I realized that my model for my store can be very, very niche. It can be a place where guys just hang out. And it's like a bar or, you know, a pool hall, hall. Like these places exist where they don't advertise that they are males only because you can't do that, but they are males only. And anyone who goes to a, uh, I'm forgetting what his name, anyone who goes to a haircut, which is targeted and has whiskey and targeted towards males and our, our barber shop, they're not advertising their males only, but they just tend to be males only. And I don't know if this is the most terrible idea. I'm sure that Twitter and Reddit are not going to love this concept of my new store, 
and they're going to say really bad things about it. But marketing is marketing. Your demographics, um, I'm Twitter is not going to feed me. Like if you give me likes and stuff, I'm not going to survive off of your likes. Um, and you know, card places are man caves. Like card like stores, like very big ones, like Lawton Gaming and uh, Firehand and all these people I I watch. Man, I mean, they're like. I've seen some of their buildings and it's just like a man cave, right? Like sports memorabilia, like that's not something that females would generally be interested in. Now, of course, if a female wanted to come and to the store, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to say, yeah, that's fine. That's awesome. But I'm going to promote my store as kind of a man cave, which I'm going to get butchered on. I know I'm going to get butchered very soon on uh, social media for that. Anyway, bye guys.